So now on to my June TBR. This month I wanted to try to do something a little fun with my TBR and give myself a theme for the month of June and that theme is the Margaret Atwood theme. Margaret Atwood is an amazing talented writer and the few books that I've read from her I have absolutely adored so I wanted to give myself a little push to read some of her other things and some stuff that had been sitting on my TBR shelf for a while. So the first trilogy that I want to read by Margaret Atwood is the Mad Adam trilogy. It consists of Oryx and Crake, The Year of the Flood, and of course Mad Adam. Um, I have read Oryx and Crake and I read The Year of the Flood such a long time ago I don't remember anything about it so I didn't want to just dive into Mad Adam forgetting everything cause there was the fun in that. So I definitely want to reread these three. And a fun little side note, I have The Year of the Flood signed by Margaret Atwood because she did a talk at the university I attend a while back when this was first released, so that's exciting. After I read that trilogy, I want to read Stone Mattress by Margaret Atwood, which is a collection of nine tales. Um, don't really know what they're about, don't really want to. Um, the little, the little excerpts, or not excerpts, the little blurbs on, on this book are hilarious. Atwood probes emotion with x-ray precision. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so I'm going to read this. Um, I've heard nothing but great things about it, and it's Margaret Atwood, so, like, you can't go wrong. When I finish that, I also want to pick up and reread The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, which is probably my absolute favorite Margaret Atwood book that I've read. It is a beautiful story. It is a beautifully disturbing story, actually, so you should definitely read it. It is a modern classic through and through, and there is a lot of parallels to our world actually right now. So it's something that is very relevant and should be read by the masses. Definitely go read it. After I th read that, um, I think I'll just <laughs> throw in a few other books in between just to sort of break it up. But I'm not really planning on reading anything specific other than Forever Odd by Dean Coop, which is the second book in the Odd Thomas series. I read the first book a while ago, and my co-worker let me read, let me borrow this because he's in absolutely in love with this series. And I can understand why, because it's like a quirky, fun story about this guy who sees dead people and he tries to help them cross over or whatever, but it's hilarious. Dean Coots is actually a fantastic writer. From what I've read of this series, it's a lot of fun and is a lot of like funny moments that had me laughing out loud so if that sounds like fun to you definitely check it out 